Okay, here's an AR Drone 2. Uh, I'm going to tell you about another couple of things I take with me in the field. It's a grotty toothbrush and a nylon bristle nail brush. And the reason why is after a few crashes, you're going to be as lucky as I am, no doubt. And you're going to get grit and mud in the cogs. Now, you can obviously take the cogs off the AR Drone, but a lot of the time you're going to want to just do a good inspection and clean out all that rubbish and debris that's got in the teeth and doing this in the field means you can carry on going and I'm hoping with the white tissue underneath I'm going to be able to show you how much grit and rubbish there was in this cog because I really did crash into uh, something quite spectacularly muddy and uh, although the motors are very good at cutting out really quick you still get a few rotations and with those rotations the uh, cogs will get grit in the gears and what you don't want to do as I've said many times before is to then have uh, unbe unbeknownst to you something inside a tooth on the large outer cog which then goes and gnarls the cog on the motor and that's because the cog on the motor is fixed to the motor and uh, it's a far more expensive repair to uh, change and repair that cog because you end up needing to replace the whole motor than it is to mess about keeping your cogs clean and either a toothbrush or a nail brush. A nail brush is quite good if it's really stiff because you can, uh, you can see I've done this before a few times, you can get a good spinning motion and really get all that mud out. Now what I'm going to try to do is to show you how much grit I got out of just one cog there on this white tissue. I'm going to bring it forward a little bit and uh, I'm going to try and gather it all together. But you've got here a few flecks of mud and grit and this black stuff hopefully it, that's showing up a bit and uh, as you can see uh, the toothbrush and the nail brush work really well together and travel with me in my ARTX bag in the field and uh, works really well at keeping my uh, gears clean and I think it's helping me protect and save motor wear motor damage so far cross fingers touch wood um, no damage to any of my motors or my motor gears yet and uh, the relatively cheap parts, the props, the shafts and the gears, no problem with those sort of things, the cogs, etc. Uh, they're cheap wear items, consumables uh, almost, you can, you, can, you can consider them like that. I want to protect my motors and I think uh, these brushes and a good clean is helping me do that.